Hello and welcome to Oakland. We're at Ring Central Coliseum. We've got a perfect day for baseball. It's the Cleveland Guardians going up against the Oakland Athletics. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set, showing the slab in today's game. Number 38. Four-pitch guy. He's got some options to work with in terms of keeping hitters off balance. So we'll see how he decides to utilize those weapons through this start here and whether or not he's able to mix them all in early or if he wants to hold something back a little bit later, maybe second, third time through the order and give them something they haven't seen. It's tough when you know a guy's got that in his back pocket. As a hitter, you really have to stay on your toes. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Here's the Guardians lineup now. The sluggers in this lineup might not be too happy about the fact that the wind is blowing in today, Chris. Yeah, and you hear pitchers talk about how good it feels when the wind is at their back. And for hitters, you almost feel like beyond just the pitcher coming at you, you've got this other force coming against you. So important to try to get on top of the ball in terms of no, hitting it. line drives, you know, maybe really hard ground balls with a good exit velocity that'll get you a base hit because it's very frustrating. You just hit one on the screws, think it's going to go out of the ballpark, and an outfielder is camped underneath it in front of the warning track. Splits the plate and a count one and one. One out, base is empty. And that one no, missing inside. inside. Fouls one off, two and two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Three, two down. Now. One down, base is empty. And that's ball that's four. Ball four. It Take wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just hurt. missed his spot. Hitter game. didn't offer at it. Jose. Now he has somebody to worry about Jose. over at first. Here's Jose Ramirez. He's always a threat at the plate. He's yeah. been flexing his power in the majors for a long Only time one. now. His first career home run was to right field right here inside Yankee Stadium in 2014. The right fielder that day for the Yankees, Ichiro Suzuki. Even he couldn't catch that one. Comes yeah. up empty. That's strike two. This is a great no dynamic right strikes. here. Speedy runner nope. at first, hey. thinking about taking second. Catcher with the pop time that leaves Jaws on the floor. This might get interesting, Boo. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. Misses That's inside. Ball. It's a ball and two strikes. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to ball. straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Got him. And yeah, there's two away. Well, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Runner, runner, Did not. Runner, runner. runner takes off. No, Pitch ball. misses. Hey. Safe at second with a stolen base. That was close, but StatCast shows us why he so often seems to be on the safe side of these steal attempts, Chris. 
Yeah, you see that plus speed, and he needed every last bit of it to swipe that bag. Such a threat on the bases. Left-hand hitter waits. And there's a rocket into the outfield. And that's going to get into the corner. The run comes across, and the Guardians score first. It's 1-0. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Oh, that was a great job of letting that runner steal second base, get in the scoring position, come through with the base knock. You add a run. Man at second here with two away. Here's Ramon Laureano. First Ball. pitch doesn't find the zone. 1 0. And another Two ball. Back to back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. Cleveland up around looking for more. Right. There's the strike. Now two and one. Two and one. Fastball right. for a strike. and miss struck him out inning over and it could have been worse so one run on one hit no errors and a runner left on to the bottom of the first it's the Guardians one and the Athletics coming to bat back in Oakland and today's starting pitcher, Shane Bieber. Oh, this guy featuring that straight four-seam fastball, but off of it throws the cutter, and really he's most effective when he's using that cutter off the four-seam fastball just to miss the barrel of the bat. Not always going to see the swings and misses, but if you can somehow get weaker yeah, contact, well, you have a chance to collect some outs. Right. Now, right. it's going to look the same until the very last no, second, no. so hitters are going to have to make a decision and hope that sometimes they're able to guess well. right. Ryan Noda at the plate and takes high there. Next pitch, not close, up high. Wouldn't chase that time. And there's the automatic. And that's in for a strike. Well, it looks like Full he's count. wanting to work the upper part of the strike zone. What does that mean? Top hand better be working for the hitters. Adjust that side a little bit. Give yourself a chance to hit. 3-2. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Payoff pitch. And there's ball, ball four. four. Take your base. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. Zach Geloff up next for the A's. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. And that one wrapped foul. The 0 one. Line drive, base hit right field. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Batting third. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep. So pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. So now the DH spot, Brent Rooker. Missed Ball. with a changeup. And that's ball one. Okay. 
Fought off foul. Yeah. Next pitch in for a strike and a count one and two. Caught him looking three. for the K. Two on, one out. And now it's going to be Seth Brown. Lifted in the air down the left side. He's got it. Batting fifth. The third baseman. Okay, let's check out the lineup. They're already down a run, so I'm sure they'd like to punch back and even things up early. Yeah, it's never a good feeling, especially at your home ballpark, to go down in the first inning. So the best way is just to come out aggressive, try to tie the ball game up, but not just tie it up, take the lead. I tell you what, momentum can really swing, and you can put your pitcher back in a position where he feels his most confident. Now it's J.D. Davis. Ramirez oh. sends it to first. What a play, inning over. Two left on. We move to the second here in Oakland. It's the Guardians one and the A's nothing. Top of the second and the batter now, Bo Naylor. The catcher. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is I want to stay square to the plate, to try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. First That's offering inside. and That's it just ball. misses. Just miss. Outside. Boog, one of our favorites. Jerry Hillsdale umpiring behind home plate in this one. Pretty much by the book with his strike zone. And because he's so by the book, you'll sometimes see pitchers questioning him. They'll make a good pitch on the edge of the zone, want the strike, and not get the call. But most of the time, Jerry gets it right. He's a good one. Just that miss. miss. That's the ball. 3-1. Three and two now. Three. Got him swinging. Three. And one gone. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. 3-2. He goes off speed. Gets the out. So in now for Cleveland, Will Brennan. And Cleveland on top one zip. That misses the zone. Ball one. One down, base is empty. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. Boog, I don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but he did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. Here's Brian Riccio, a switch hitter batting right. Step off, throw to first. He's in there. Brennan gets back easily. First Ball, pitch misses. Low. Brennan over at first with one away. The shortstop ball. takes a ball. Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, he's going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. And That's another ball. ball. Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if he'll walk you. The pitch. And yeah. there's the strike. It's a good spot with the 3-0 pitch right there. You don't want to lay something in, and it turns out to be a homer. Yeah. And now it's filled up. 
Full count. And now the lefty. Ground ball could be two. There's one, and that's two. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Guardians one, and the A's nothing. Back here in the East Bay, and now J.J. Blade. Bieber back to work. And there's a foul ball. And the right hander deals. That one fouled off. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. So a runner aboard to start the inning. I'd say a mistake pitch in an 0-2 count. Too good of a pitch to hit right there. You have to expand the zone. Keep that leadoff man off first base. Shea Langoliers, the next to hit. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. It's 0 and 1. Here comes a pitch. Fouled off. He was late. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. And that one is lifted in the air. Loriano sizes this one up. And it's caught for the out. Batting eight, the center fielder, Este Yuri. So up next, Este Yuri Ruiz. Third baseman playing on the edge of the grass looking for the sack bunt. And he swings and misses at the initial no offering. One strike. First pitch strike right there for him. He's going to have to do that consistently if he's going to give any length to his skipper. Outside. Oh. Now one and two. The Athletics down by a run. Bottom half of inning number two. Pitch misses. Oh. And the count is even two and two. Right-hander kicks deals. Got him swinging. Couldn't catch up to the heater. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. Nick Allen up next for the A's. And the Still first madness. pitch misses for ball one. 1-0. One -oh. Two outs. Swing and a pop-up. Sizing this one up. He's got it. And that is that. One left for Oakland. They trail here. one nothing.
And we're back. Leading Top half of the third one. inning. Now the it's going to be Miles seven. Straw. Miles Straw. The pitch. Outside and low. And that's ball one. That one the other way. Takes it in for the out. Now batting the left fielder. Steven Wong. So the Guardians lineup turns over. Here's the left fielder, Stephen Kwan. He's 0 for 1. That's outside. No, that's out. Ball one. You have to be creative pitching against bad ball hitters. You got to add some velocity, subtract at times. Just avoiding the heart of the plate isn't always going to be enough. Guys like this can hurt you with pitches you wouldn't expect them to swing at. On the ground right side. Steps out first for the out. Now batting the second baseman, Andres. Jimenez. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the second baseman, Andres Jimenez. He walked and came around to score his first time up. Jimenez, a multi-gold glove award winner, batting second in today's lineup, and he was born in Venezuela. Next nope, pitch inside, it. and one and one. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Going to really One need to hang in there with that front side against this left-handed breaking ball. Makes the catch, inning over. Nothing doing here this half. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Guardians one, and the A's nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. And here's the first baseman, Ryan Noda. The wide to kick the pitch. On the ground, right side. On to first. One gone, bottom of the third inning. Now batting, second baseman, Zach Geloff. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, Zach Geloff. And he's already singled in this game. On the ground, right side. Tosses to first. Two up, two down. Now batting, the designated hitter, Brent. Brent Rooker, up next for the A's. Struck out looking his first time. And a good eye there. Home team down a run here in the last half of the third. Top right, of the zone right. for a called strike. Two down, nobody on. And they'll do it again. The one, two. Ball. Gets a piece and stays alive. That's Down off the, the mark. And that's ball three. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game-winning run. I love his tenacity. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches right, and earned a walk. Oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Wow. Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a false scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. On the ground, That's foul. and foul ball.
And now the 0-1. On its way to the corner. Loriano trying to get there. Reaches for it, but it's foul. That missed one by ball, a lot. Strikes. And it's one and two. And a swing and a miss. That is the inning. The A's strand one. And it remains one nothing. Back here in the East Bay, John Chambi with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Jose Ramirez. And a pitch. In there at the knees for a strike. You know, these Guardians doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at-bats out of them. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. Gathers you know. and throws to first, and Ramirez is set down. Fastball groove right down the middle, usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air, maybe drive it into the gap. And now... It's Josh Naylor, doubled in his first A.B. That's yeah. a strike. It's 0-1. Good eye the right there. The lefty ready, and a 1-1. Hit hard, base hit. Loriano comes up to hit. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. That one whoa, misses. Whoa. One and oh. At the belt and fires. There's a strike. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch one and, one. and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger and perhaps the best pitch you'll see in this at bat to hit. Down the line. And that's a foul ball. Naylor at first, one gone. That one ripped right center field. And that should be extra bases. Around third. Now a relay to the plate. He's safe. He's safe. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. One out, runner at second. Bo Naylor at the plate now. He was a strikeout victim his first time. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. One out and a runner at second. And Loriano in scoring position. Right side. Brown should have this one. Puts it away for the out. That's out number two. Now batting, the designated hitter, Will Brennan. And up next for Cleveland, Will Brennan. One for one with a single so far. First Ball, pitch, and he high. just misses. And 
And that's, that's down and away. One run across in the frame so far. Top half of inning number four. And a foul ball. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. They limit the damage here. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. It's now a 2-0 ball game. Bottom four, digging in for Oakland, J.D. Davis. J.D. Davis. The wind of the pitch. Lifted in the air, right center field. Straw getting an angle on it. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. One up, one down. The left fielder, number 33. This is J.J. Blade. Blade. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Pulled hard, but it's a foul ball. Left hand batter waits. In the air on the infield. Drops into the glove, and there are two outs. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Shea Langoliers up next for the A's. Flied to right his first time. That one ripped but foul. And the righty deals. And oh, that one down. is in the dirt. And the count is one and one. And that's oh. in the dirt. Two outs. Hit on the ground to the right side. And oh, it goes oh. just foul. The wind and the pitch. And That's another ball. ball. Down is full. Fights it off. You'll see another. The Guardians leading by two. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Right-hander gives up the two-out walk. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or an end of the gap. Ruiz in the box now. No balls and a strike. Well, we call that keyholing. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. And that one, one is one. inside. Langoliers off of first with two away. Next no, pitch is missed. outside. Righty to the plate. Full count. 
Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Righty delivers. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Kicks and deals. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Payoff pitch. And that one in the air center field. Nice grab on the run. And that'll do it. One left for Oakland. They trail it here 2 nothing. We go to the top of the fifth, the stepping up for the Guardians, Brian Rocchio. Brian Rocchio. As the lefty gets to work, foul back our way, and that's out of play. And a pitch. The punch out there, and the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Well, I think that's a case of overthinking right there. He got three straight fastballs looking in the 0-2 count just to pour it back. Strong. Batting with one down, takes a strike. One. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at-bat. One down, base is empty. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. That one is upstairs. Here's a one two. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Kicks and fires. Fouls it back with two strikes. Hey, Swing what? and a miss. Struck him out. Now batting. Stephen Kwan digs in for the Guardians. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. And he gets tied up right there. Yeah, his swing oh, is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. On the ground to the foul left. Ball. And that's just foul. Singy, one of the things that's interesting is that guys really don't worry about swing and miss from an offensive standpoint anymore. So when you see somebody who contacts the ball like this, do you, and there's the third out, that'll do it for the inning. The Guardians go down in order. They're up 2 nothing. We head to the bottom of the fifth. The Striding to the plate now for That's Oakland, up. Nick Allen. Nick. All these fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base Yeehaw. runner on. Right through there for a strike. Next pitch oh, is outside. outside. 
And the right-hander deals. That one, one well upstairs. Two and one. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. And that turns the lineup over. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Back to the top of the lineup. And now the first baseman, Ryan Noda. Fastball for a strike. And that one uh -uh. missing oh. low. Way to lay off that pitch down. Left hand hitter waits. Ball. The A's down by a pair. Last half of inning number five. Outside. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. And he deals. 3-1, oh, and he couldn't come up with it. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much oh, gifted him first base with a quick free base. pass. First and second, no outs. Digging in, Zach Geloff. One for two. That nope. misses the zone, and yeah, that's ball one. And he can't come up with it. No throw, and that's a tough time for an error. Up next to Oakland, the designated hitter. Brent Bases loaded, nobody out. Brent Rooker up next for the A's. Golden opportunity right here. And that's no off the inside edge. One and out. it's one to no. You need a strikeout, and you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop-up, something, but you've got to make some pitches. But if he can battle and get through this, he can earn some points. All loaded up, dangerous hitter at the plate. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Quan settles underneath it. Squeezes it. Runner tags from third. The throw is yep, offline and he's in to score. And a 2-1 ball game now. So many times that one gets out of here and into the seats. But he'll take the sack fly RBI. Good job to get that run in from third. Two on, one out. So here's Brown at the plate. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Strike two. Don't play situation here. He's been working up in the zone. Typically, you look for guys to get that ground ball, see if he adjusts on this next pitch. At the belt and fires. And no, misses inside. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Got him! That's the second out. Now batting, 
So first and second with two outs. Now it's J.D. Davis. Swing and a pop-up in foul ground. Ramirez brings it in with a nice run and grab. One run in the inning, but they leave two. We're through five. It's the Guardians two and the A's one. Back in Oakland. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. So in now for Cleveland, Andres Jimenez. The pitch. There's your strike. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. Movement in the bullpen, number 69, preparing to come on if needed. Muller warming up as well. Yeah, the lefty with the 0-1. Now this is in the air down the line. Nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Picks up strikeout number seven. Just overmatched on that fastball right there, and it wasn't like he was set up for it by something off speed earlier in the at-bat. Just came right after him with three straight, and he had no answer for it. Now it's Jose Ramirez. Wouldn't One chase ball, no that strike. time. Ramirez, multi-time All-Star, 31 years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. All A bit right. behind with that swing. It's strike one. 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 Hey. Late with the swing there. One and two is the count. One down, base is empty. Ripped on the ground a second to first. Two quick outs to open the top of the sixth. The well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the Josh. air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Here's Josh Naylor. And yeah. that's in for a strike. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Brown makes the catch, and that is that. So they make short work of them there. Six, seven, eight, do in the bottom of the sixth. It's the Guardians two and the A's one. Well, we go bottom six, digging in for Oakland, J.J. Blade. The right-hander back to work. That immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Rip to short. Toss to Naylor. One away, bottom of the sixth. Now batter, the catcher. Langoliers. And here's the catcher, Shea Langoliers. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. 0 oh and 1. And the pitch. And I think that nope. skill set really upgrades the position because one ball, one when strike. you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. There's yeah. a swing and a miss. What about him playing another position one, two, on defense, out. one that would require a little more range? Absolutely. And I think if push came to shove where they had to make a, a move during a game, oh. it surprised a lot of people. You might even be able to put him in center field. Center Naylor field. takes it himself. One. And a couple of quick outs. Ruiz. Este Yuri Ruiz now at the plate. Ooh. 
And that's in there at the knees for a strike. Two down, nobody on. Here in the bottom of the sixth. Breaking ball inside. And now it's even one and one. Two down, nobody on. Foul ball still a one and two count. Two outs. Fouls it off, still one and two. Stays alive. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. And a one two. And ball. another ball. Grinding a B right here. About to see pitch number 10. Come back into the mound. Slings to first. Three up, three down, inning over. A's go quickly and quietly there, and they trail it here two to one. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, number 69. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Ramon Laureano digs in for the Guardians. The right fielder, number 10, Ramon Laureano. The wind of the pitch. Just no, missed. And a foul ball. Ground ball to the right side. Noda steps on the bag, and they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. The catcher, Bo Naylor. Bo Naylor digs in for the Guardians. Breaking yeah. ball through there for a strike. Right-handed reliever. That one That's inside, and it's one and one. Base is empty, one away. Here at the top half of inning number seven. Foul ball there. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. On to first. In time for the second out. Good job to clean it up after the drop third strike. Oh, that was perfect execution of that curveball. Down and in. He gets it out of the danger zone, and you really can't do it much better than that. It's in the zone the entire way, so you have to swing as a hitter, but then just falls off the table and almost hits you in the back foot. Brennan ball. up to hit for the third time as he lays off inside ball one. Wouldn't chase that time. Clearly didn't come out of his hand the right way. Left that curveball way up. And Rio. another ball. Who 
there's the strike. Three and one. Right through right. there for a strike. We got a full count. Three, two. In the air, left field, down the line, and that will drop foul. Two down, nobody on. That's towards center. Ruiz makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's the shortstop at the play, Nick Allen. And the right hater back to work. Man, he's been really good, about to hit that 100 pitch mark here in the seventh. Man, we'll see how far they're going to ride him, but it's been pretty good so far. And that one fouled off. and misses it's a strikeout a big first out here in the seventh via the punch out yeah it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this when you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this so a strikeout really puts them on their heels now here's the leadoff hitter for the A's Ryan Noda and immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. No balls, Usually when a pitcher's had a dominant outing, he has filled up the strike zone, and he's gotten ahead in the count with first pitch strikes. Well, that's exactly what this guy has done in this one. Over 70% first pitch strikes. And delivers oh. outside. Trying one to one. hold a one-run lead here at the bottom of the seven. That's out to center field. Sizes this one up. Makes the grab. Out number two. Now batting the second baseman. Now the number two hitter, Zach Geloff. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. That one's in there, 0 and 1. But this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys that's like high, that, even the though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Two outs, base is empty. Fouled off, he was late. The pitch. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. Straw makes a nice running catch. And we're back. Leading, Leading off, off, Ryan Rocchio. Well, both sides equally as strong. So not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher no, and put him on the other side the of the plate. And that's ball. off the inside edge. And two it's 2-0. Oh. Oh. And there's a foul ball. The pitch. That missed. That's a ball. And he walked That's him. That's ball four. Runner, take your base. That could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight pitches and the leadoff batter's on base. We'll see if the next guy waits until there's a called strike before he takes the bat off his shoulder. And up next for Cleveland, Miles Straw. 
Squares to bunt, but that rolls foul. And he bunts, but that's foul. Strike two. Here comes a pitch. Ball that's one ball. there. One, two. Twings and misses. It's a strikeout. He swung over top of the curveball. No, oh, there's a small Let's sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Rokio leads off first with one away. Runner on the goal. Ground ball left side ball. and foul ball. And a one one. And ball. another ball. Out towards right center field coming on. He's got it. Two down. The batter, the second baseman, Andres Jimenez. Here's Andres Jimenez. Three pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. That That's one drifts inside. That's inside. A little that bit low. Is, that's the ball. And here it comes. No, that's out. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Jose Ramirez waiting for a turn at the plate. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. Take your so base. now ball two four. on and two outs. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Here's Jose Ramirez. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. Ball for a strike. Going one. Late in the game, everyone gets a little tighter. Way to get ahead on a really good hitter right there. And a pitch. And that one fouled off. Two on, two outs. And oh, just it. misses with that one. Really good take, especially with two strikes. On the ground to first. He takes it on his own. That ends the inning as they squander a chance to pick up some insurance. Guardians strand a couple, but they still lead it two to one. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Scott Barlow. Now, These are the spots relievers really make a name for themselves, late Scott and close. Barlow. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Leading off. Well, one run game. The now the A's hitter. designated hitter, Brent Rooker. Rooker. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Oh, that's it. Meanwhile, Activity in the bullpen. Emmanuel Classe, the closer, getting cranked up for a possible save opportunity. Henches, the lefty, warming up as well. Looking to get the tying run on base. Base hit into the outfield. The right fielder, number 15. We all saw it was hit hard, but how hard was it, Singy? StatCast is here with the answer. Yeah, Boog, it says the exit velo was 113 miles per hour, and it looked every bit of it, didn't it? I mean, just an impressive swing of the bat, and clearly he saw it out of the pitcher's hand no problem. 
And here That's is Seth Brown. One and oh. With the tying run on at first, here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Yeah, that Two skips in the dirt. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Next offering clips the zone count even at two. Popped up to the left into foul ground. Drifts towards it. And there's one down. The third baseman, number five, J.D. J.D. Davis will hit next. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. First pitch oh. misses. Kicks and deals. Swings and misses at the pitch off the plate. One, now there's one. a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. That's a ball. Wouldn't chase that time. Next ball. pitch misses, and that's ball three. J.J. Bladé in the on-deck circle for the A's. The pitch right down the chute, and it's three and two. Ball count. Three and one count, saying to himself, I've got to get a fastball here. Just spins a get me over breaking ball to bring the count full. Outside, and that is ball four. Pretty much the last thing you want from your bullpen arms are free passes, especially in spots like this. Make the team earn their way on. Substitution being made at first. On to run for Oakland, Abraham Toro. So digging in, J.J. Bladé, one for three. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, Boog. In the air to left, down the line. Sizing this one up. Brings it in. Two down. Now batting. Catcher. Shea. So first and second with two outs. Here's the catcher, Shea Langoliers. In there for strike one. So the tying run at second. Ball. Pitch misses, and it's two and one. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Right Swings two. through that one for strike two. Oh, that's that that's slurf right there. He threw it extremely well. He talked about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Right. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Inning over. That's a crucial missed opportunity. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Now into the ball game on defense, Abraham Toro. He's the new third baseman. Josh Naylor digs in for the Guardians. Known for his late inning heroics. Josh. Naylor. The wind and the pitch. And that That's one just ball. misses. A ball and one no out. strikes. Huh. 
fastball for a strike. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. High fly ball, right field. Brown settles underneath it. Hauls it in for the out. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite right barrel it up enough to really drive it. Ramon Laureano. Stepping up for the Guardians, Ramon Laureano. And that one clips the corner. One down, base is empty. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Had him out front for strike three. Well, classic pitch sequencing there to change eye levels for the punch out. That fastball on the pitch before was up. It was very competitive. And that gets you thinking that he might try to climb the ladder. But then the curveball out of that same tunnel just falls off the table, and you can't make contact. Naylor in the box with two gone. And it takes a look at a called strike. Fly ball down the line. And that lands in no man's land, a foul ball. Two outs. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Timing on the swing was good, able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Yeah, the batter now, Will Brennan. No, that's outside. Just ball. missed. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. Next Two pitch is one. downstairs. Swing and a pop-up. Gellong settles under this one. He's there. He's got it. And that'll do it. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. 8-9-1 due up in the bottom of inning number nine. It's the Guardians two and the A's one. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Emmanuel Classe. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. At the play, Este Yuri Ruiz, 0 for 3, a fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. And a pitch, just missed. That misses, and that's ball two. One run game, bottom nine. To the right side. Naylor That's takes it out. to the bag. One out, bottom of the ninth. That's why you hug the lines on the corners no better, late in the ball ten. game like this. Good Position job. perfectly. Nick. So up next, Nick oh, Allen. Man. Struck out on just three pitches last time. Now you got the number nine hole hitter right here. Looking to do whatever he can to get on base, turn this lineup over so the best hitters in this lineup have a chance to tie up the ball game or maybe even walk it off. And that one lifted in the air, center field. Brings it in, and there's two down. Now batting, first baseman, Ryan. The Athletics down to their last out. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, Ryan Noda. And he 
He swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Man, no one 91 won. on the slider right there. That's a hard one. That's a low-end fastball for some pitchers. A one-run lead here in the last half of inning number nine. Fastball Ooh. for a strike. Well, so many hard-throwing relievers in the game these days, you would think that hitters have made the adjustment, but I don't know if you ever get used to it. Just pumping gas out of the bullpen. So hard to play catch-up. Classe is just one strike away. No, that missed. That's just the ball. missing there. And the count is one and two. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Great pitcher's duel in this one. You get to a certain point where each pitcher is trying to outdo the other, go a little bit deeper into the ball game. And for these pitchers, it really came down to a few key at bats. This was a fun one to watch. And your final score here today, 2-1. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. The final line score for this afternoon's ball game. First, for the victorious Cleveland Guardians, two runs on five hits, no errors. They left six runners on base.